The scripture for uh, the sermon, The Marks of the New Birth, is found in John chapter 3, verse 8. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. What is the new birth? I propose three scriptural marks that clearly identify this spiritual birth. And the first mark is faith. Faith is the foundation of being born anew. This faith is not merely an intellectual assent to our Christian creeds or propositions about Jesus as the Christ. For even demons believe these. No, true faith comes from the heart. It is a certain trust and confidence that our sins are forgiven. It is a clear awareness that we cannot save ourselves and must come to God as lost sinners, convicted of our sins and knowing that only Jesus can rescue us. Immediately, sin loses its power over us and we are set free. We now have the power not to sin outwardly. For St. John wrote, those who have been born of God do not sin. And also, a peace that passes all understanding rests upon us as God's children. The second mark is hope. It is a living hope that is the second mark of being born again. For the Holy Spirit bears witness to our spirit that we are God's children. And in that moment we cry, Abba, Father. For we are now adopted into the family of God and sealed with the Holy Spirit. Our previous anguish turns into inexpressible joy in the Holy Spirit. And finally, the third mark is love, which is the greatest mark of all. We love the Lord Jesus with an undying love. This love extends out to our neighbors, friends, and enemies. We love God with all our hearts, our mind, our soul, and strength as we obey his commandments. And we hunger and thirst to obey God's will without worldly reward. In conclusion, to be born anew is this, to not commit sin, to abide in God's peace, to know that we are a child of God, to experience great joy, to love God and others as ourselves, and to obey God's commandments. I ask you now to search yourself. Do you have these marks? Is the Spirit of Christ in you? Oh, do not trust in your baptism alone. Baptism is not the same as the new birth. Many have been baptized who are now on the road to destruction. So seek again the face of God and receive the spirit of adoption as his child. By faith, be born again now.